Welcome back. The program is Let's Talk, and my guest has been the digital marketing executive, Damilari Arowulu. Thank you so much um, for standing by, Damilari. It's been wonderful okay. having you and discussing this topic with you. Yeah, thank you. Now, moving on, what can be done uh, with these gaps uh, to actually maximize profits? Okay, um, what can we do to this gap? Is, to fill um, these gaps, actually. Okay, to fill the gap. Um, just like I stated earlier, um, the number one thing I will still talk about is um, data. What data tells you is what you will be able to um, denote. Um, whatever you're getting from data is what you can denote to say, okay, let's say there's an acceleration gap. How do you know that there is an acceleration gap? What makes you know that there is an acceleration gap is the kind of data that you have and how you're able to transpose those data. For example, one, one example of data is, okay, let's say your company is making 10 million naira, and um, another company that is your competitor just declared that they made about 200 million naira in profit. Definitely, you know, there's a gap already. And how do you, you have to take notes that how does this brand make 200 million and I'm making just 10 million naira? So you have to know how you can change that gap. And then you have to also understand if there is a reduction in um, the number of users you have, you know, the number of buyers that you have. For example, let's say in the 2022, you have about um, 100,000 buyers. Then in 2023, the number reduced to 80,000, which means that there is a problem going on and you've been doing the same thing. So to close this gap, you need data and you need to translate those data to make sure that they are giving you the right um, results that you want. From there, you know the marketing what to do. And then another way is for digital marketing to close the gap. You have to check that you have um, um, technology, you use technology to your advantage, which is in terms of digital marketing. When we come to e-commerce, digital marketing is very important, which is trying to get your target audience from different digital platforms, from different um, sources, and to be able to get them. And then also, it's important that you employ the right skills because a lot of times, the difference between you and another um, company that is doing better is that that company has the right set of skills working with them, while you don't do have the right set of skills working with you. So it's important that you look at the employees that you are going to have or the people you are going to bring on board, whether as a consultant, whether as an um, employee, or in any regard that will help you close that gap is very much important. And with that is where the labor force is important in closing as a gap because the right skills we can be all the difference that um, a brand needs to, to scale up the acceleration of that. Now, as a digital marketing executive, how would you help people actualize the stream of um, accelerating the gaps that have already been in existence? comparing that to this present time because there was a time that people don't even know what how to fill up the space or what to do but thank god for the digital age that we are right now you know you can get things done first so as a person as an executive in this field how can you help people in case we have so we so, looking for in yeah. his part to help uh, so um the question should be how have i been helping people to close the gap because, uh, you know, I'm in the space already. So uh, right. technically, if I say I'm in the space, I should be closing the gaps. So um, what we are looking at is um, in Africa, um, the countries in Africa are referred to as developing countries, the third world countries, which means that um, it's a bit, um, when um, some people say if technology is um, 10 over 10 in the US, in Africa is still 3 over 10 which means that there is a still a lot of um, gaps that needs to be filled. And one of the major um, constraints in this is because of the cultural diversity that I talked about. The African um, cultural, um, the African cultural prevalence as, um, is in such a way that um, it does not allow um, fast growth in, in, in terms of um, technology. It does not allow fast growth because of a lot of um, um, the, the reception of Africans to technology. So that is why um, the um, first world orders have been doing a lot of things and we are still like we are following them behind. So what I've been doing is that um, we are uh, doing a lot of awareness to making sure that people see the opportunities that exist in the digital space. People see the opportunities and how it makes the lives easier. I always tell people that the number one thing about digital space is that it makes life easier. 
So if you are looking at this outfit, you have to look at a way to make life easier for people. When people use e-commerce, they can buy things at the comfort of their own. When people use Facebook, you can chat with people all over the world from the comfort of their own, and so on and so forth. So if we can um, harness this platform and use them to our advantage, it's always an advantage. So I've worked with different brands, and uh, what we do is we always come up with um, digital campaigns where, um, to, in, in order to make sure that we close this gap. And um, it's always been very, very interesting because uh, a lot of companies that are supposed to be, they leave a lot of money on the table when it comes to digital media in, in Nigeria, most especially. A lot of money is left on the table. A lot of people that are supposed to be making up to like um, 100 million era monthly, making 10 million era because they do not pay attention to um, the, the gap that exists in, uh, in the um, online space. And um, if we come with the right set of data and we, uh, we, we've been able to come with the right set of data rather, and we've been able to see how we can reach their target audience, whether by creating um, relatable content by storytelling or whether by um, using um, the technology that we have, that is the marketing tools that is provided in the digital space to make sure that we reach their target audience and we can help them scale up their business and we can help them fill up this gap. And that is why um, recently you noticed that a lot of um, unicorns, a lot of um, unicorns are um, emerging in the market of in the in the nigerian uh, market and most of these unicorns are fintechs most of them are technological companies most of are companies that harness the power of the digital space to operate so um i think that we've been doing well so far we are not there yet but we've been doing well so far in, the, in, in thank Africa. you for that and you keep getting better Just a quick one. What is a programmatic buying and how does it drive integration in closing acceleration gap? Okay. Um, so programmatic buying is um, an automated way of um, buying adverts. It's, it's more like using a software to run your uh, digital adverts. So um, let me give you a scenario so that it can be explanatory. So normally, as a digital marketing executive, what we do is that um, we place adverts on the online space. We, we run campaigns and we put those campaigns uh, on the online platform or in digital space. But um, a lot of times we do these things manually. Um, we, number one, from our own thought process, we come up with what the audience target audience should look like from our thought process. We come up with what the target audience should look like. And then a lot of times we are being left with doing the manual work of um, the, the setup, the marketing, and every other thing manually. But when it comes to programmatic and buying, it, it is automated, which means that you have an, a, a, a machine or an AI tool that will help you to come up with the right data and help you to come up with the right set of ads and help you to place those ads at the, in the appropriate channel, which means that instead of you going to the set of thinking about um, how, how will I look for a target audience or how will I get um, better sales, which channel will I use, um, if you are using a programmatic ad um, software, it already does all those ad work for you. So all you need a digital marketing executive for, or, or if you need anyone at all, is to make sure that these things are running right and to make sure that you are optimizing it. So the only thing that is left is optimization when you are using programmatic. The setting up is done by the system and it is easy for you to like run your marketing. It's easy for you to automate your marketing and then integrate it, most importantly. We need for you to integrate it into your business. Thank you for that. Any final word? Yeah. Um. Okay. My final word is that um, the uh, I I believe that we need to still um reach out to a lot of people in this side of the world to understand that um this space is here to help us. It's here to make our life easier. Um, we need to like 
open our minds, keep an open mind to how the digital space is being run and how it's working. As much as there's advantages and disadvantages to everything, but in order for us to reach a certain level where our life is so much easier, we need to embrace the digital space and we need to utilize it appropriately in making sure that we get our desired goals. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Um, I really do appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. And to you out there, thank you for being part of the show. Remember, the digital space is here to make our lives better. So let's ensure that we maximize every potential that is in it. Until next time, when I come your way again with another exciting topic, I remain on the Joking Circle. Bye for now.